Hey everybody, this is Matt. We're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. I want to do a quick video today. Uh, I'm going to do a lot of speed up action on this because I don't want to spend too much time. Um, I got my Fender Custom Shop shirt on and today we're going to work on this guitar which is not made by Fender. It is a uh, S101, a S101. And uh, my friend Ariel brought this in and she got this at a, a yard sale or, or like uh, like a, she did something and an old gypsy woman cursed her with this. I'm not exactly sure. Gypsy woman cursed her with this. <laughs> okay, right after I said that, the whole video got all kinds of goofed up and um, stuff was backwards and things were all kinds of cattywampus. So I need to be real careful about what I say about this guitar for the rest of the video. Um, what we did though was we ended up pulling the neck and we are going to fix uh, uh, what happened to the headstock. Someone had drilled out the, uh, the holes for the tuners and replaced them with something you'll see here coming up and um, we're going to reshape the headstock and make it look a little nicer. Something that is befitting of this fine instrument which is in no way got an evil spirit attached to it at all. Okay, let's get on with the video. I wonder what they use to fill these holes in. I think it's like that rock, like plumber's putty. Like water putty? Yeah, rock set or what's it called? Oh. Dura putty. No, it's a dowel, okay. All right, now that we got all that garbage off of there, we're actually going to cut all the tuners off of the headstock and glue new material to said headstock. Um, again, we're not doing this because it's practical, we're doing it because it's mildly amusing and I think it'll be fun. looks totally drunk. Um, this is never going to work. Look at this. It's the dopiest looking headstock ever. Um, I thought maybe we could make it go, but as you can see, we can't. So now I'm going to grind this off and I'm going to add a, um, I'm going to add some more wood down here and then we'll come back and we'll scoop that out and, uh, and make it flat on the back and we'll, we'll have a headstock that looks like a big boy headstock. So, um, <laughs> Look, look at that, come on.
Yeah. Just on the edge of it. Just grab. Just find the hole. Yeah. Get some closer. Okay. All right, that looks a little more like it. So, uh, you know, I didn't want to just make this an <clears throat> obvious Telecaster ripoff. So I added this little tit right here um, because I, I didn't feel good about making this look exactly like a Fender, even though it's nobody would confuse this with a Fender. Um, but anyway, so this is all I am willing to do to this guitar. But as you can see, um, you can still see the original chunk of wood in the middle here. And uh, you can see the lines where I added new material and drilled brand new 10 millimeter holes that actually uh, are round, which is sort of the whole reason for doing this. Now, there's gonna be a lot of people, I wanna see if I can preempt all of my YouTube haters. Um, let's see, there's gonna be some guys who say, that was a complete waste of time. You bet. Um, it was. What else will they say, Chris? Uh, why would you... Oh, oh. It's gonna break off. This is going to break off. No. Uh, look at every Gibson ever made. There's little little uh, wings here that, um, that, that are, on the up, are on either side of the headstock. So that, that's really a non-issue. Um, so let's talk a little bit about... Uh, yeah, so it's, it's a solid repair. I wouldn't recommend doing this unless you just had a neck that you just wanted to change the headstock on. I don't recommend doing this. Um, I don't recommend sending a $40 garage sale guitar to me to do this because I will charge you way more than the guitar is worth to do it. But if it's something that you want to do, it can, well, here you go. It can be done. And you can shape the headstock to however you want. You can have it be a banana headstock or a upside down or a lefty or really anything that you want to do. And you'll notice the, the nut is still the same and the, the, the neck is, is still the same. So everything is, you know, is still the same. And, and of course it's a craptastic donor, but again, we didn't do this because it was worth doing. We did it because it was fun. And I think that fun things are just fun because they're fun. They don't need to be for a specific reason. So if you guys liked this video, Give me the thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and click that subscribe button. We've gotten a lot of new subscribers lately, um, and thank you to everybody for subscribing. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this cuckoo project that we did. Um, I think we're gonna call this, um, re, or we're gonna call this something about polishing a turd or a turd polishing project or an exercise in turd polishing, something like that. You'll, you already know, because you already clicked on it. Um, anyway, if you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. We do kooky stuff like this all the time, and it really helps us out. Even a buck a month goes a long way. If you can't do Patreon, we totally get it. Share this video as many places as you can possibly think of. Um, I have been known to irritate people on lots and lots of forums, and I kind of get a rise out of that, and I get a lot of hate mail from those guys. So thanks to all those guys who are hating me and spreading the word on the forums. So this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, y'all. This video as many places as you can possibly think of. Um, I have been known to irritate people on lots and lots of forums, and I kind of get a rise out of that, and I get a lot of hate mail from those guys. So thanks to all those guys who are hating me and spreading the word on the forum. Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, y'all. Totally get share this video as many places.